Alone in the Dark is classic survival horror through and through. It doesn't really do anything groundbreaking. It's pretty much taken the DNA from the old classics, the old Resident Evils, the old Silent Hill Hell, the old Alone in the Dark, and bringing it up to a modern standard. Now, Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 7 already did this, so you know what you're getting into when you start to play a game like this. This isn't Resident Evil 4. It's classic survival horror. That means you're going to be isolated in one area, you're going to be exploring room to room, finding keys to unlock doors, finding pieces to puzzles to solve the puzzles. And now and again, you're going to end up in combat. Now, when I say it's classic survival horror, and I mean classic in the sense of the main focus is the story. It is the atmosphere. It is the environment. If you're going into Alone in the Dark thinking, Damn, I really like the combat in survival horror games, at least the modern ones that people claim are survival horror. I'm going to get elitist with this. Do you know your, your, your Resident Evil Falls, your Dead Space, your um, Evil Within? Those types of games have very high strategy when it comes to combat. There's many mechanics, there's things you can do, traps you can set. With Alone in the Dark, you are not getting that. You're getting the PS1, the PS2 era of survival horror where it is... Point the gun, pull the trigger, the enemy falls down. That is it. You've got a dodge mechanic, and now and again, this is the peak of strategy, basically. You can throw a bottle off an enemy, it gets covered in oil, or it can get covered in alcohol, and then you pull the trigger, you shoot it, and it sets on fire. That is the maximum amount of strategy you're going to get out of this game. For the most part, you're going to be aiming, and you're going to be shooting. The guns you get are pretty limited. There's nothing, like, crazy here. And I'm not against that. I like simplistic guns, and I actually like single-shot weaponry in my survival horror. I think you should be fighting with the reloading and picking when to pull the trigger. I feel like that adds to the tension and combat, and it works really well. I've only um, beat Edward Carnby's storyline. There's two characters to be here. I've only gone through him, and I've heard the, the differences in the story are minuscule. It took me about 10 hours to get through it. But for, for the most part, I took my sweet time with this game because the atmosphere is amazing. I, I wasn't like scared or anything, but it was creepy and it really pulled me in and I really wanted to explore. And I love a good dark atmosphere in these horror games. And Alone in the Dark delivers, just like some of the classics from back in the day. The puzzles, they're not too complex. You'll figure them out pretty easily. There was one that wanted a code for a safe, and the code was in the most ridiculous area you can imagine. I was looking through files, I was looking everywhere for this code, and I could not find it until it caught the corner of my eye, and it was inside a cupboard. I couldn't believe it. I was running up and down the stairs trying to find where this code could be, and I couldn't believe where it was when I found it. So anyone who's looking for a safe code, keep that in mind when you're playing the game. A cupboard that's right next to the safe might have your code. But yeah, for the most part, all the puzzles were super easy. I loved exploring, though. I loved looking for the parts, figuring things out. This The soundtrack's great. It really pulls you in. The characters are all memorable. Uh, the voice acting's really good, superb across the board. The storyline is engrossing. You will want to know what happens next. And I'd be lying if I said I completely understood it. I'm still trying to put parts together, trying to work out whether it was real or not, or if it was a dream. I haven't got a clue. It's one of it, gonna be one of those videos where I'm gonna have to look up Alone in the Dark Explained, because I really struggle trying to understand exactly what happened by the time I rolled the credits. Maybe if I do a second playthrough with, um, I think she's called Emily, if I do her playthrough, maybe things will make more sense, but as it stands right now, some of it has just gone way over my head. Um, this is a real thinker of a storyline, and I think it benefits from that. The game has rough edges. It really does. The combat really lets it down, but the story, the soundtrack, the characters, if you love classic survival horror, I honestly think you'll enjoy Alone in the Dark. I can't see how you wouldn't, if you, especially if you really like the old-school 
survival horror, the PS2, PS1 era where the combat really wasn't important. It was all about that atmosphere, the scares, the tension, the puzzles, the exploration. That's what you get here. But that's all I got on Alone in the Dark. If you've played it, if you enjoyed it, let me know down below. If you plan on picking it up, maybe you're waiting on a sale. I see a few people saying they're going to wait on a sale. Personally, I feel like I got my money's worth. It was 45 for me. It's really not that expensive, personally. But some people just don't have that kind of money to throw at random games here and there. And plus the reviews. The reviews were saying that it was like... I saw one review that gave it 1 out of 5 stars. And I was like, what the fuck are you smoking? This game has its problems. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's the greatest video game of all time. I'm not going to tell you it reinvented the wheel. But 1 out of 5, really? This is like a solid 7 out of 10 survival horror game it would have been higher if the combat was you know more i don't know fleshed out more to do more strategy more things i could have done more bullet damage just more feedback on it but for the most part it is just you're really playing this for its story and its atmosphere if you're not wanting that from a survival horror right now and maybe you you want the dead spaces and you want the re4s Alone in the Dark's not for you, but if you want the classic Resident Evil or the Silent Hill experience, Alone in the Dark's got you covered. Let me know down below how you feel. Subscribe if you're new. Appreciate all the comments. All right, that's all I got, Pete. I'll catch you later.